In today's video, I'll show you how shade can affect your solar output and how wiring can have a big difference on the amount of energy you collect. Okay, you always want to know what the specs are of the panels you're hooking up, and each one of these is 20 volts each, roughly, and about 5 amps. And now the conditions for today is kind of mostly sunny skies with some jet streams or vapor trails kind of in the way, but that's okay, that's not important. What we need to know is our voltage. So right now the volts are at 80 volts because these are all connected in series, which adds our volts all together coming out of this pin right here. So we need to know what we're gonna be plugged into like this power station or this other power station over here. This one can only hold 60 volts before you do damage to it. So that's why you wanna know the voltage coming out of your solar panels because this one will hold 150 volts. And also when you have charge controllers, it's the same thing when you plug all these together. So now we'll go ahead and get started and plug this in and then I'll show you the front of it. So now you can see this is going to come up and now we're getting about 315 watts out of all four of these solar panels. And so now we'll start our testing. So what we're going to do is basically shade just a little portion of this solar panel right here and all four of these are connected in series, right? So remember our, our watts were about 315 watts. Let's go back over here and look. So now you can see we've lost over half of our output just from that little block. And if I put it on there even more, it would basically make this string at almost zero output. So now we're gonna actually put these two in series, we'll put those two in series, and then we'll do a series parallel connection and show you the difference. Okay, so I got these connected now, and these two right here are together in series, those two are together in series, and then paralleled together like earlier using those branch connectors. Now I haven't touched that wood block, and look at the difference. Our output is higher because the other panels that are in series on the other side are not really affected at all by that little bit of shading. And this is one of the most popular setups is a series parallel. We'll move that out of the way so we can get a baseline now. So we'll come back over here and check. Now we're back up to about 315 watts. And a series parallel connection is still one of the most popular ways to do off grid. But when you're doing a grid tie system, we don't even do that anymore. We're now using micro inverters, which this helps the output stay real consistent. Even though these ones are shaded, their output is minimal, but the other ones are not affected at all. And they're still putting out 100% all the way across. So it's totally a different setup now when you're doing grid tie. And what we're talking about is mainly off grid stuff only. But we'll get back to the testing on this. So I'm gonna put this block here on this one solar panel and we'll get back to our series parallel connection. So now we'll go over here and take a look. We were at 315 watts, give or take. And so right now, those two panels are 100% output. These two panels right here are basically dead and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna put this block right here. And so now this one's covered and so is that other one. So those two are basically zero output still 160 watts coming out from the two panels over there. So they're putting out about 80 watts each. So now we'll go ahead and do another demonstration. I'll show you what I mean here. We'll take off one of these blocks real quick, move this out of the way. And now see, 160 watts still, nothing has changed. Again, series parallel. So those two panels are not affected. So I'm gonna come over here now. So what's gonna happen if I put this block here? You have any idea? So will we have output because these two in the center are open or will we have no output because these two are in series and so are those two? And look, zero output. So because a series parallel connection, it takes out the ones that it's connected to. So since those two are connected together, basically it cancels each other out and it's at zero. Same thing with this one, those two are connected together and it's at zero. And I'll show you the difference here in a minute. So let's pull this off real quick. And now what happens? Those two are gonna start putting out power, right? So if we look over here, now we're back up to about 160 watts. Again, series parallel. Okay, so now I've hooked all four of these panels up in parallel. And what does that do? That increases our amperage. So five, 10, 15, 20 amps, right? So these are good for short run type off-grid sheds and buildings, and you can still do it in other applications, but you typically don't get as much output. It's a little bit lower, but again, right now we do have this little kind of vapor trail in front of us, so that's gonna change it a little. But look, about 240 watts, give or take. So now we'll put this block down, and if this was its series connection, it would basically be no output. And so now look, we were at about 230. Now we're at about 195 as far as wattage out. Let's do it again because that vapor trail is kind of moving. 
So take a look. Okay, 260 watts now. So we'll come back over here. Let's put this back down. And so one panel has now been affected and we've lost about 50 watts. Now, if this was series parallel, we would have been down a half. So let's grab this one and put this here. So now what do you think our output's gonna be, give or take? We have two panels that are blocked, so those two are dead, but remember in series parallel, this was a zero output configuration, but now in a parallel configuration, we still have two open panels giving us full power, about 75 watts each, give or take. But what if we move this one over here? Kind of get this up and over. Okay, so now that this is here, set that back in place. So does this change anything in a parallel configuration? It's not gonna do anything because each panel is able to operate independently on its own. So again, we are still getting two panels that are roughly putting out 100% output if they were actually aligned, we didn't have any clouds in the way and, and, and more, but. Now let's see what happens when we cover up another panel. So now you should be kind of catching on what's going on here. So now we have one, two, three panels and only one open one, right? So in any other configuration, this would be dead, but in a parallel configuration, it operates independently. So we're still getting, look at that, about 80 watts. That's because the uh, you know, sky's kind of cleared up a little bit, so we're getting more output, but this panel is not really affected when it's in parallel. But if we cover this up, well, we've lost about 20 watts there, put my arm on it a little bit more, and probably lost a little more, but actually not doing too bad. These Harper Freight panels actually do perform pretty well. I'm still impressed by them, but, and they come with legs, so that's cool. But another cool thing about being in parallel is that here, we'll put this here. Now you guys will see that all four of these are now completely covered up. So obviously our output is gonna be what? Zero. So you come down here, there it is, zero. But another cool thing about a parallel configuration is that these have their pros and their cons, you know, because they're great for shade and everything, but their output typically you don't get as much. But so 270 watts out and our voltage is only at 20 volts, as you see here, now I can actually hook this up to other types of power stations and more because this one right here is a rating at like, I think it's 12 volts to 60 volts. So now I can plug it into this one and charge other types of power stations or use other types of solar controllers and more without going over and frying things because they can handle over amperage basically, but they don't like being over voltage. That'll actually fry the controller inside and boom, away it goes. So now you can see that we're up to about uh, 250 watts using this type of configuration. So it does allow for more options when you're plugging things in, but it also has its own set of complications because with all four of those panels, that's 20 amps right there. Add two more, you're at 30 amps. And that's the problem with parallel is that you need a much thicker wire. Instead of 12 gauge, maybe 10, you might have to go to eight or six gauge wire depending on how far your run is and how many panels you plan on hooking up. So. That's why a series parallel configuration is still one of the most popular for an off-grid setup, but this kind of gives you an idea and it gives you options if you happen to be hooking up something smaller. So I hope you liked the video. Check out this other one right here.